Okay, we got some big stuff coming down right now from the House Oversight Committee. They have released this. Um, this just breaking in the last, uh, well, this a- earlier this hour. And it is confidential human source reporting. So this is a, F- what is it, FD 1023. And there's a lot in here, but here's some of the, here's some of the most interesting stuff that we can look at. The confidential human source uh, told Zlachevsky that any payments to the Bidens would complicate matters and Burisma should hire some normal U.S. oil and gas advisors because the Bidens, notice it's plural, have no experience with that business sector. Zlachevsky made some comment that although Hunter Biden was stupid and his dog was smarter, they needed to keep Hunter Biden on the board so everything would be okay. They both deal with Shokin's. Oh, here we go. They both, uh, CHS reiterated, there's a lot in here, folks, so I'm moving as we go. Zlachevsky was making a mistake and he should fire Hunter Biden and deal with Shokin's investigation directly so that the matter will remain an issue in Ukraine and not turn into some international matter. Zlachevsky responded to the effect of, don't worry, this thing will go away anyway. Hmm, why is that? Confidential human source replied that notwithstanding Shokin's investigation, it was still a bad decision for Burisma to spend 20 to $30 million to buy a U.S. business and that the source didn't want to be involved with the Biden matter. Zlachevsky responded that he appreciated advice, but it's too late to change the decision. And he understood this to mean that Zlachevsky had already paid the Bidens to deal with Shokin. Do we have the audio? I mentioned this yesterday. Do we have this, guys? We do. This was at the Council on Foreign Relations some years ago, and here is Joe Biden mouthing off about how when he was VP, he decided he had to get tough with a certain prosecutor. Play it. 12th, 13th time to Kiev and... uh... And I was going supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor. And they didn't. So they said they had they were walking out to press conference and nah, I said, I'm not going to we're, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. I think it was, what, six hours. I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. (laughs) Got fired. Clay, if the corruption prosecutor, Shokin, isn't fired, you're not getting a billion U.S. dollars. The FBI, this didn't just come, this isn't like someone just called into a tip line years ago had a confidential human source that they had vetted and trusted who said they paid the Bidens millions to do what? Fire the corruption prosecutor looking at Burisma. We just laid this out yesterday, and today this drops. I I mean, it's smoking gun evidence. Biden should be in a cell. Biden should be in a cell, everybody. I mean, if we had a serious justice system, the guy would be in prison. $10 million to force a prosecutor to get fired, he got paid, and then he refuses to give a billion dollars of American, your taxpayer dollars, to the uh, to the uh, Ukrainian interests unless they fire this prosecutor. I mean, this is, this is treason. I, this is pretty clear evidence of bribery and treasonous behavior by Joe Biden. And let me just mention this, Buck. That recording is from, what, 2018? How much better does Biden sound speaking in 2018 than he does today? Leave aside the, the bribery, the trees, and everything else. From we just listen to him talk and tell that story, in five years' time, he's gone from someone whose brain sounded like it worked fairly well. He doesn't sound at all like the Joe Biden who was talking in 2018 today. That, that's what stood out beyond the fact that he's bragging about taking a bribe and, and getting uh, action undertaken by the government. And remember, this is what they impeached Donald Trump for asking about on the phone call with Zelensky. So not only 
did Biden so far escape all consequences for, according to this, taking $10 million, $5 million to him, $5 million to, uh, to Hunter. They impeached Trump for asking about it. They didn't do anything to Biden. And Trump got impeached for asking about it and asking Ukraine to look into it. Now, I, I, the big question here for, I, I would love to have Bill Barr on with us right now. What did they do? Why is this not seriously investigated? When you have an allegation that a vice president, longtime serving senator, was taking millions of dollars in payments, there's a braggadocio quality to this uh, these allegations where the guy says, we wired it so many different ways, you'll never be able to track down all these dollars. I mean, that's, that, that, that's part of the bragging associated with how these payments got there. And what did the FBI do with this information? That's money laundering. Of course. Which people go to prison for as a felony for many years. Hiding a bribe through money laundering. The laundering itself is an additional charge, and you are covering up another felony, which is the bribe in the first place in this case, or could be. Depends. When is it? Is Joe in office? What are the promises made? But even still, hiding it via wire transfer yes. from the IRS is still money laundering. And so you look at this and you say, how much more clear could it actually be? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what else? How much more smoke from the gun can we see before we can all agree that something happened here? Think about how seriously the FBI took small snippets of allegations about Russia collusion. Right? Like, just t tiny little tips that obviously were not merited in any way, but they treated it like Donald Trump was the Manchurian candidate. Papa du Papadopoulos was sitting at a bar and said something based on internet chatter, which a lot of people were hearing at that time, and they opened a full-field FBI investigation Correct. and then went after Carter Page and opened up FISAs and went for multiple FISAs when they knew that what they were doing was wrong because they figured, well, we can knock Trump out with this. Lied in the warrants to yeah. be able to get the FISA warrants. And then when we tried to do something about the guy who lied in the warrant and prosecute him, guess what a D.C. jury did, everybody? Not guilty. Because he was going after Trump. Important lesson there about D.C. criminal juries in anything involving Donald Trump, especially as we have the very high likelihood of J6 indictment against Trump dropping tomorrow or next week. But it's going to be days. It's going to be in a matter of days now. Could be tomorrow. And just think about this. In addition to this, this executive claims that he has 15 recordings discussing these payments with Hunter and two recordings discussing these payments with Joe. If those audio files exist, we're talking about smoking gun evidence because you just heard us play Biden bragging about getting yeah. a prosecutor fired. But if those 17 conversations exist, my goodness, I mean, I, I, I don't understand how Joe Biden isn't immediately uh, facing impeachment in the, uh, in the House. Now, you can say, well, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to remove Joe Biden from office in the Senate. But again, yeah. tons of people don't know about these stories. We're telling you, lots of people don't know. From 2013 to 20, uh, 2018, Hunter Biden and his firm earned over $10 million dollars um, for legal advice for a foreign Ukrainian company. If, and this looks pretty clear, if that money was funneled to Joe Biden while he's vice president to demand the firing of a prosecutor, a corruption prosecutor, that is bright line crossed bribery stuff. That And, and then you add the money and laundering treason, and everything else. Right? I mean, it's treason, too, to be doing the bidding of a foreign government in exchange for money wouldn't it be i, I need to look at I don't the know. Actual... it's not it's not i mean treason is aid and comfort to the enemy in a time of war i don't think we consider ukraine it was not on not a war with them so legally it might be uh i don't think you get to that but it is a betrayal of is it a betrayal of the united states yes right i mean is it on an ethical level yeah uh it's it's, a, it's a high crime and it's it's a high crime it's, it's a high definitely crime a misdemeanor impeachable. for damn sure. yes easily yes. yeah so yeah, but Joe Biden's going to be the nominee. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. 
I'm still sticking to my I'm still sticking to my script. Are you getting on nervous? This one, but, Are you getting nervous about him being the nominee? I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bet my uh you know, I'm not gonna bet the 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 farm on this one, if you know what I mean. I think the new place is, and you're not gonna put the new place in Miami no, on I'm not the line. Put the new apartment on, on the line on this one. I think there could be some uh, interesting stuff. I still think it's gonna be Biden, to be clear, but I'm feeling a little shaky right now.